What's up guys, Lucas here. And in this video, I'm going to break down how resveratrol can affect your response to caffeine. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I am the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to provide you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So in this video, I'm going to basically break down how resveratrol, which is the polyphenol uh, flavonoid that's found within red wine, how if we supplement with resveratrol at the same time as caffeine, that it may actually potentiate and enhance the stimulating effects of caffeine itself. So basically what that means is it may help to reduce your um, overall caffeine dosage or even help to strengthen the um, motivational push and drive that you get from consuming caffeine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and show you a couple of studies that illustrate this effect. Um, Because as you guys know, everything that I share on this channel is evidence-based and you guys will have already seen my website where I list some of the most cutting edge biohacks um, to basically harness um, your, your fullest potential and take control of your physiology. So let me share the first study, which had a look at how resveratrol interacts with um, the brain. So the first key point is that although resveratrol uh, is poorly absorbed um, and has a poor bioavailability, which means that it's it doesn't actually get very well absorbed by the body, before we get bogged down by that issue, let me first explain how resveratrol can affect the brain. So this study basically highlighted that Resveratrol caused a marked increase in serotonin levels in three brain regions, the frontal cortex, the hippocampus, and the hypothalamus. They also detected that noradrenaline and dopamine levels were also increased both in the frontal cortex and the striatum. So now they, they also basically discovered that chronic treatment with trans resveratrol, by the way, if you guys are looking for a vendor or a source of pure resveratrol or trans resveratrol, you'll see a link to that in the video description. Um, so check that out. Um, so they found that trans resveratrol was able to inhibit MAO A, so monoamine oxidase A, in all four brain regions, particularly in the frontal cortex and the hippocampus, whilst MAO B was not affected. And to further justify the use of resveratrol with stimulants, again, this is not medical advice. This entire video is not medical advice. Please do not, um, please consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or routine. But so this study basically looks at how resveratrol enhances the, the stimulating effect or the cocaine induced dopamine neurotransmission in the striatum. Um, so basically they found that resveratrol can potentiate and strengthen the stimulating effects of cocaine in a particular brain region responsible for motivation, um, reward and, um, goal related behaviors. So, uh, this is quite interesting, like how we can sort of see the link between, um, you know, harnessing the power of you know, research studies, because you guys know that I love to um, provide information that's, you know, I'm bridging two separate uh, concepts and merging them together so that you can take your physiology and your performance to the next level. Um, and guys, if you want to learn more about some of these awesome, you know, neurological or nootropic brain hacks, you'll see a link to my nootropics masterclass is a free course on how you can hack your brain and you know um it's all about cosmetic neurology where you can basically take control of your brain function through hacking your neurotransmitters 
um, you'll see a link to that in the video description. Um, but going back to how people will argue that resveratrol is not bioavailable, well, the problem is solved simply by combining it with black pepper. Now, you've seen that um, people will formulate curcumin or turmeric with black pepper because it enhances the bioavailability. And the same applies for resveratrol. So again, uh, if you want to cut the dosage of your resveratrol, combine it with black pepper and you'll see a, an improvement in mental function and mental clarity. Uh, if you have a look on Reddit, on some other threads, you'll see that a lot of people notice improvements in mental clarity and focus and verbal fluency from resveratrol. I personally have noticed that. Uh, I don't tend to drink caffeine, but when I did supplement with 250 to 500 milligrams of resveratrol, I was noticing um, better energy levels and better mental clarity, particularly around the afternoon when I usually get a like a 20% drop off. Um, so guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do like, like the video, subscribe, share it around, check out my podcast, the Boost Your Biology podcast, check out all the awesome links in my video description. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.